Is everyone ready? <coughs> it's my um, great pleasure to welcome you, uh, Herman Colgan, to this talk. It's one of the first in a series of artist talks, but this time we're going to do it in um, a conversational manner because uh, we believe it might be interesting to ask some of the questions that the public is also wondering about your own work. So um, perhaps for those of you who still do not know Herman Colgan's work, um, he has exhibited in the past 15 to 20 years in um, some of the most prominent um, spaces for art, received a lot of um, awards. Um, last year got special mention at the Ars Electronica, which is very prestigious, also performed in Transmedia, where he also got um, awarded several other um, awards, but most, um, I think that what is most uh, fascinating about your work is the following public that is completely immersed and fascinated by your work, not only the professional public, but a wider public that is able to uh, be addressed through your work. Um, so, but the, f the first question that arises, I think, is for everyone who's perceiving your work, um, as in any media art, if we would put it in a bracket of the media art, is um, how actually is the image produced? What technique does it use? Uh, which genre do you think um, it contains? So firstly, for the piece yesterday, how much of what we saw yesterday was a film, a pre-recorded film, or a pre-recorded sound, or how much of it was generated, uh, performed live for the public? Okay, uh, well, it's a larger question because the, the process is uh, very long. So uh, if I start from the beginning, so to, pre to prepare the sources, so before the performance, uh, for this concept of uh, Dossé, I have to say that each of my uh, project have a different approach, have a different way to work, have a different software. I, I have also some project that I don't use software. For me, it's not really important to use software. I know I use, I abuse, I create my software, I, I, I like this, but at the same time, it's just because it helped me to arrive at my final ID. It, the, it, the main thing is it, it, to I brainstorm uh, a lot with myself before I starting to, to make a project. And when I, I brainstorm uh, at the level of the ID, at the same time, I ask me, okay, what I need to make this uh, like like I want to be uh, at the final uh, step. So uh, for us, for an example, uh, the concept was for me to uh, to work with the three level, three altered states of dust. Uh, it can be more than that, but I, I stopped at the three level. So at the beginning, it, it, it was more you know, the, the organic dust, so the, the dust from the cathodic tube, the dust from uh, the light, the dust that this is a kind of um, uh, aleatoric uh, real thing around us. Uh, after that, the second state for me was, okay, the dust when you, 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 you go inside the dust, it can be one centimeter, it can be a landscape. I, I wanted to break the point of view and the perspective. And it, it, I think now with the, when I analyze a bit other project, it's something that is very important for me to break or, or to play uh, the perception, the point of view uh, of me and, and you about about um, 
about the reality or the perception of the reality. And at the, this second uh, state, it was to, to shoot, it was a real shoot of dust. I asked a lot of my friends to bring their electronic bag for one month. I create a large, large uh, big table with air compressor and uh, under the table also with a hydraulic punch controlled by a subwoofer and I shoot this with the uh, high speed camera and and this it was a real part of the shooting for the, the the second part of the performance but over that I I, I uh, used uh, you know em emitter and par particle then I create one by one <laughs> I take real dust and I make particle I put inside the virtual emitter and I add this to, to my real shooting to create uh, for me a, a better control because I have the control with the wind and, and, uh, and the, um, the subwoofer but after that it was more also important to have some particle that I can very control and, and to also to put this one centimeter like one kilometer very large or can be something like a planet or I don't know, not really important, maybe just to, to, to break the, you know, the, 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 reali the reality dimension of the dust. And at the last part, I wanted to push a little bit further the way to, okay, Dust, when you have dust at the floor, you walk, you create a kind of uh, air flux. You, the dust is moving and is replace, replacing uh, randomly. And I want to, to control the dust. So to arrive to that, I create uh, virtually with the 3D software a, a lot of particles that I can I replace the wind by the audio. So the audio, when the, the each frequency of the audio uh, have a, a different dynamic. Mm, mm, it's like the wind in the real dust. So I wanted to to at certain point to be able to to create a geo geometric or something very aesthetic with the dust and and distract that with this audio wind. Uh, and I work it out so have more, I can explain, because my first language is more French, excuse my English. Um, I wanted also to, to, to have the dust more uh, in the, like, like the uh, lighting particles, so that, that's why at the end we are very far of the real dust of the floor, and we are in kind of, uh, uh, very. Um <laughs> we will, will we try to maybe yeah. find the name for that later. Yeah, yeah. But um, now, from the first question, it seems that your answer is actually that you're not looking for something that would be lively, um, live um, generated, but your interest is more at the end product of what you call the audio cinetic. Mm -hmm. um, experience or audio cinetic mm -hmm. sculpture. Mm -hmm. So if you consider your what originally was a video and auditory image, if you consider that as an architectural space, as something where one can enter, we cannot um, cease to marvel what kind of perspective you use in it. So if we come from an experience of um, of uh, the visual arts, mm -hmm. um, then we would say that there is a, a certain idea of perspective in architecture and how arch architecture is done comes from Renaissance mm -hmm. and centralized um, um, perspective. Your perspective mm -hmm. is very eerie and worrisomely um, placed in a very macro um, mm -hmm. environment. How did you come to that kind of aesthetic? Yeah. But for sure, it's this macro aesthetic is more for dust than for other of my projects because mm -hmm. dust I needed to, to work with macro. Mm -hmm. But I want to say also that uh, I was talking just to prepare the source. After that, 
uh, it, it start the, the, the way to present it, so the performance uh, place. Uh, um, I, I, for just for an example, it, it's more, I, I decide to not add some effects um, on, the, on the video, so I, I have a lot of TV clips then I can reconstruct live and depend on the mood of the the, the, but the sound of the, the venue, the mood of the audience, my mood, I recreate this kind of, I, I call it uh, em emotive, emotively, narrativity. Mm -hmm. For me it's not, I don't want to, to say something very specific, I just want to, it's more, more plus uh, um, uh, corporal, corporal energy. Uh, for the performance for me is very to, to by this this image to communicate something that is very direct to the the body of the people without understanding something. For me, it's not important to to understand what I wanted with dust. Uh, I, it, it was the same thing for inject. It's more important to, to feel it. Uh, each people can have his own way to per perceive it. And for me it's more in interesting that that each people feel it in in different way. And some people don't don't have uh, ju just feel something without have the ability to explain what what, what the, 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 the feel what, when they talk to me after the performance. It's more on the emotion way and for me the, the the i think the most important is like direct to the the See. people without too much because when i work to be honest i work very uh, uh, for sure i have strong guidelines and, but it just to help me to don't fall it, it's strange because i'm i'm i'm, I'm telling you like a uh, not to piss my problem is i, I I create seven days a week. I have a lot of projects at the same time. I have collaboration. My brain is always busy. I use a lot of software, and to help me to focus, it's more second <laughs> to help me to focus. I have to put guidelines on each project just to say, "Hey, man, okay, for that it's macro, it's black and white, it's connected to memory. You want to to to." to to talk about the three states of uh, dust, and I, I create my, and I, I put, I draw something in the with Photoshop. I create my timeline that I can play with that. But it, it's a kind of fillet for you know for an acrobat, uh, and it, it tells me not to go like this. And each project is very different for that. But still, you are defined by a very strict aesthetic that is very easy to recognize in all of your pieces. Yeah. And I think that there is a very conscious decision behind that as well. If you um, are looking for an, a total immersion into your works, one of the first decisions would be to use uh, HD image, to use HD quality, mm -hmm. best possible quality mm -hmm. of uh, videos. Of course, that's to some extent, um, would you call yourself perfectionist in that kind of sense? I don't know. I don't like this term. I, I don't know why. I'm often I, I work also in the reaction with the last piece or maybe the last three piece. Um, yeah, I, I last year they asked me to make a tribute to uh, Norman McLaren, that is a famous. Uh, uh, I can he made his scratch. It's an old uh, Montreal uh, in Quebec, the old uh, pioneer of the animation and scratch the the, the pellicula, the, the pellicule, and he scratched the, the the sound on the pellicule and he made relation. And it's very very interesting. He, he made a lot of, uh, of uh, short movies, and they asked me to to make a tribute, uh, an homage to him. And I work completely differently. It was very, very low-fi. I just saw all his movie. I, I, I edit all his movie to make just a 20 minutes. And I have on the stage just a tube, cathodic tube. 
and with a sensor I analyze the lighting of uh, his movie and I just have a, a reactor patch this light was selected in my reactor patch and I, I improvise with it because I, I play the music and when the, 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 the light uh, uh, flux it's change my patch in, in a way that I didn't, I just had to react with, with him. So that, that was the concept because I reverse the process, he scratch the pinkle, he make light in with, with that and I say, okay, I will make the inverse, I will take his lighting and I will make music with that. So it was just a, du a duel, a dual. So him, quick, <laughs> it was a long, long table, the cathodic tube, and me at the opposite with, with my controller, and it was a kind of, not fighting, and I'm joking, but it, it was the idea. So, you know, th this project is completely different than the, mm -hmm. so, yeah. Well, probably for your installation, such is it is a little bit different to what you do with video audio installations. Mm -hmm, I think mm -hmm. that formally they do differ in one, there is an interest for for this um, also how the the, the um, uh, space functions mm -hmm. differently, mm -hmm. but sometimes you would merge it. We were yes. talking before about this idea of most predominantly in your installations you would work in a circular way so that um, a spectator would find themselves inside of mm -hmm. the installation, mm -hmm. completely immersed mm -hmm. in, in that kind of sense. Also, uh, although you produce it produce it with mechanical objects mm -hmm. or, or mm -hmm. the object. But for video, you your ideal, as I had um, understood, is to also immerse the spectator completely in the video and audio picture, but mostly you still use the linear perception of mm -hmm. the cinema uh, where the, audio is, mm -hmm. the audience is faced yes, to yes. the screen. Yes. What is your relation towards this? idea of immersion in opposed yeah. uh, opposition to the yeah, linearity. Exactly. Oh, okay, two things inside that. Uh, first thing is the difference between uh, my way to conceive installation and uh, the performance. Because for me installation is very... Um, I, I, I think about it because the, the, the audience are inside. I, I, I propose something in the installation, and the audience have, so, some people stay in the installation for two minutes, other people for 15 minutes. So it, it's very, the, the I just, I, I can just propose uh, an environment immersive with, with, uh, with the architecture, and is, is the, the people the, that, that, that module inside this. Uh, the performance for me is completely different because the people go inside the room, we close the door, we close the light and I have the people for 40 minutes for me and so I control. It's more a, a kind of, I, I made the, this trajectory in, uh, in an installation is the audience that made her own, own tra trajectory, their own way, the, the old speed to, to walk. So, so it's very different for me. Um, the other thing is for the performance. Uh, why is now more frontal or like cinema uh, style? Uh, it's just for inject and dust. It's, it's for practical reason because two or three performances I made before it was very more complicated. For an example, I made the uh, epiderm that the, all the, the audience, audience was uh, lie down on the floor. The screen was a big floating screen of maybe uh, 10 meters uh, with all the speakers attached to this screen. And, and all the audience had to, to touch each other, it, w it, it was completely another feeling because they have to take care to, to make conscience of the other people also. And it, it, it was like a big, big lens, a big microscope, and we, and I wanted also that the, the audience go near the alpha mode, just near, the, to, to forget, forget, forget their bodies, 
to go more like a vacuum inside this image. But to be honest, I just had the chance to present it maybe four times in the world. And if I compare to NGX, I, I, I go everywhere. So the, the, it practical result. So I decide to work hard to make the same. Yeah, it's a frontal, but at the same time, I, I, I said to be okay. I, I will work very hard to the audience forget this. And at a certain point, the sound, the bass, everything is kind of a vacuum, and and I can create something very strong with a simple way to present it. But it's more practical reason than uh, uh, maybe in the future we will know with with what happened with me. I, I would be more uh, ask it to present something with a more complicated uh, uh, ergonomy, performance ergonomy. I think that will have to do also with the evolution of the HD and accessibility of Kailuma projectors mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so on and so mm -hmm. forth. Itself, because yeah. if you look at back at 20 or 10 years when you started to mm -hmm, work, mm -hmm. it was quite different. But now, mm -hmm. so when you were explaining of this immersion of the total body augmented reality that one is completely sunk into, I'm interested about how you view this guideable um, critique of the society of spectacle. He was very critical in the sense that it numbs the people, it makes them um, less uh, sense sensitive for the content and, and for, mm -hmm. for intellectual or class struggle and so on. How do you view that? Do you think that at the current time it is still a place to speak about his um, critique to be to have some value, the um, critique of the society of the spectrum? Okay, I'm, don't, I'm not sure if, we, if I understand well. You, you say about the... the the position or my position mm -hmm. um, or my so critics so. for the mm -hmm. yeah. I, I to be honest I don't really like I said I work very very a um, little bit not disconnected because I think I'm really connected with the people with with the the, the you know all, all, all what's happened around me but I, it's not part of my uh, work, I think. For sure it's part because I'm there in the past three years, but, but I don't know. Like, like maybe in Jack, in Jack, I wanted to, in this uh, work, in this performance, to talk about the lack of having something very vital in your life. So each people have something that they miss, that they, 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 they uh, and Izo was, was the guy that I shoot for six days in the water without oxygen. I wanted to push a body uh, without the es essential of life. And it was, maybe it's related with our life today, I don't know. But to be honest, I don't really, uh, I don't really uh, have Politically or or uh, intellectual to to be for my work a, a very word uh, in a way like like it's it's fun, it's spontaneous for me it just uh, so maybe it's very naive but I know my work is not naive but the work the way I work it, it's like a, a more a artisan li like somebody who makes sculpture. For an example, for dust, I have my table of dust for one month with my camera, with my punch, my air compressor. I make experiments. I go to the computer. I I I, I try some some uh, random patch to to mix the dust. I, I like it. I don't like it. Da, da, da. I work like this. I I, I am very um, critic about myself. Uh, so if it's not good, it's not good. I have to touch first myself, and I know I'm very, very critical. So first, just to I want to be very honest with what what I create. So just to arrive to that, it's a lot of work just to 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 make me happy with with all the 
all this the 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 this feeling, this energy, the the the, the you know the also the the uh, the honesty with the concept. The, my my first concept, I I, I wanted to go deeper uh, on that, but uh, I, I was I think in a way very naive at the same time. I don't know. Okay. But I, excuse me, just to finish that because I, I don't like to see myself. I don't. I don't have any, you know, um, I, I'm, I'm more inside the processes than outside the processes. And when I, uh, I was in Rio uh, last month, we have, um, uh, what is his name? He's, he's a doctor, scientific doctor from Berlin that was invited to have a talk with me. And she, she had a lot of, uh, she, she write two books very important about the new media, the blah, blah, blah. And I, I, I thank her to, with, I need this kind of people to, to have, a, uh, you know, an overview of what's happened now in, in our time. And like I said to her, I said, I, I'm more in, inside the, the process, to be honest, and I don't. And, and she explained to the people that it's exactly this. They have some people that think about what's happened and other people that that work and other people maybe they are in between, I don't know. But she told to me a lot of artists are like me and don't really know what's happened now. It's very fast. Is it the new, new uh, you know, new media art? All this term because they have also, you know, a, a, a a talk about is it uh, live cinema is it blah 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 and the, if for me I, I really don't know I don't like the term of live cinema for different reasons but I don't have the the real term it's not my for me it's not my not my job to find what is it I just have to to work and to express myself and hope to be really, really, really near the people. I don't want to make something that the people like. It's not important for me. But I want to be very, very uh, near the, the, the vital the vital energy in life. So, yeah. What you're saying now is actually really interesting because when the artist would attempt to take an outside position, then one would become cynical about one's own mm -hmm, position. Mm -hmm, if you mm -hmm. are working in the sphere of immersion, you must de immerse yourself mm -hmm. or you would not be, as you say, honest mm -hmm. to what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But um, although you claim that you have no specific narrative, uh, of course there are inspirations, mm -hmm. yeah. but you say that you don't lead a, a, a kind of very clear narrative. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. in most of your pieces, there would be a kind of red threads going throughout them. So mm -hmm. one would be this relation that you would use uh, either very mechanic or cyborgian or organic forms. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very distinct whether in the train, but I think this is the part of yeah, it as yeah. well. Um, it's very mechanic, very industrial. Then mm -hmm. injection would be very organic. Dust would be alf also quite organic. Then mm -hmm. again, Choosing motives, you would be interested in very basic elements, water, dust, wind, wind specifically in some yeah, of your yeah. installations yeah. where you translate it. Yeah. Um, I'm interested a little bit about your idea about this human-machine relationship mm -hmm. in your work. Yeah, but tra train fragment, I don't want to, to talk too much about this, but it was more, uh, you know, a commission work. Mm -hmm. for Steve Reich and, and I think train is not in, in my uh, not a specific but uh, not in my uh, uh, approach, approach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's in, not in, in my but but I worked it with that and it was good also to to, to, to have uh, another uh, a diff, diff challenge just for the public it was a part of uh, the Philharmonic or Orchestra. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Um, but for sure, all the elements, you know, like the wind, the water, the insect, the, the organic, the, the life that is beside me. I, I like this because 
I, I like to, to confront uh, confrontation myself with uh, another an, an, another uh, logic another logic and uh, another rules of life. For an example, now I work on installation with the snail, and the snails have a GPS, and we we put 400 snails in a large large bat that we track and we have two back like this, two family, and uh, each family will, will create their own music with uh, a patch with a random uh, uh, decision, and, and, and they will decide which deci decision depends on their, their uh, how kilometer, how, uh, how much centimeter or kilom kilometer after one month, because, because it will be a big uh, screen and the, the audience will follow the addition of the, you know, the distance, the eye, if they are, they, they, they need to, to make a cluster and or the other family is created. So we analyze all the uh, behavior and each behavior will create two different uh, music and the audience will compare the music of the two families. So for, for me, that is very interesting because uh, I wanted to, to leave the decision to to to, uh, to animals or plants or so in, in this series of uh, installation that's called uh, water music is all about water, light spices and music. But it's not. I just made the, the patch and prepared the decision for the, the animals and we would create it. So it's completely different than dust or inject, but at the, the same time, we have, we have a relation because it's elegant, it's, it's something that we have uh, uh, their own uh, rules. And in dust, it's the same thing. When, when I, I prepare each cell to make the, the performance, uh, for an example, in dust, at the beginning, it's supposed, I suppose, to not have insect. Insect was not in the concept of dust. But I decided to shoot the, the flickered neon with the, the, the dirt and, you know, the, the catalytic uh, pixel. And it was summer in Montreal. And a lot of insects go inside in my studio and go in, in the front of the, the neon. And I said, wow, it's like dust. It's a, from far, it seems to me like a flicker or a particle but very organic and I did never think about this before and I use it after that say hey, wow okay it's a part now uh, on my um, on my concept so I, I, I follow also I have a guideline but I follow also what's happened in life and, and to me so, uh. so um, but all these things the interest in organics in different variations mm -hmm. whether it be it uh, a half dead looking human that does not even look real, real mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. on yeah. the footage. It actually looks like it's generated at the yeah. end because it's so far from what we are used to mm -hmm. in seeing in humans. Mm -hmm. But there is a certain morbidity also in silent rooms, I feel, mm -hmm. for, mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. So um, this interest of yours, which is for one's very natural and one could say that nature is something nice but if we look at another turn of the antichrist of last mm -hmm. one three years mm -hmm. verity makes mm -hmm. a clear statement mm -hmm. that nature is evil so mm -hmm. what is your yeah. relation towards yeah. the, this constant morbidic aesthetic yeah. that yeah. you're eerie i think it's very different for me it's i i think it's if i think about this because <laughs> <laughs> Usually, I don't think about this. It's come naturally, but I think it's it's more. I don't know. It's more because I find this. Some, I find something beautiful inside. This. It's it's like if the like. I don't know the the dead bodies. It may be more lively than we think, and maybe. And also, it's kind of, it's like Izo when you inject the guy inside the, the water, I, I, I shoot him, I, 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 I treat him like, like a, a material. For me, it's kind of 
material that I can play with that. And the, 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 the body is something like like that. I don't make really differences if my uh, my hand is dead or if I want for me it's something that is it, like the table is it dead or I, I don't know. I don't make difference between that. Uh, it, for me it's a, it's something that inside the, this element you have a lot a lot of life. Maybe it's dead but because the guy life for 80 years inside just his, his, his body we, we feel we have a connection with that it's so for me it's so vibrating it's not dead yet. and the same thing with the fly the fly was uh, dead but at the same time w w when I, I saw the picture now i saw it so beautiful the, the, the one fly we we my friend and then we we call this fly, uh, Barilin, she, she's very beautiful. She has big eyes, like, like uh, to, to go with the, to, you know, uh, uh, how do you say that, to, to, to have a, um, a flight, you know, it's an aviator. Uh, and each fly has uh, uh, his personality because we, with the macro, I say, hey, she, she, she smiles, the other is in the eye. And I, 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 I uh, learn the, the difference between fly. I find this very, Beautiful, and you know, in life, I don't, I don't find the, the fly particularly beautiful. But when I, I work it with death, after that, uh, I, it was, it, it was very beautiful. So for me, it's not dead. It's, uh, it's something that contains a lot of life. Maybe it's tough, but it contains. Actually. It's very interesting that you wouldn't like the term life in a month. If we put aside what this other implication mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. gives, when you shoot something, you place it in a time span. It becomes a time-based mm -hmm. image. And when it's solid, or when it seemingly does not have life, when mm -hmm. you multiply it in time, mm -hmm. you give it um, a certain kind of motion. So that's why, from that perspective, mm -hmm. your fly is actually mm -hmm. still alive. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But for the live cinema, maybe for uh, Injek and Dust, I, I think we can call it live cinema because in Rio, I, I think I, I was all inside the other artists, the, the artists that I pre that present the more live cinema than the other. So for me, it can it can it can be okay for some of my team. That's true because it's really cinematographic. It's it's not cinema because I keep with the narrativity, they, it's uh, never the same thing. So, uh, but this term is applied to a lot of artists, not just me, and I think for other artists that is, it's, it's, it's far, far from the cinema. I think we have to, to find a new term for that because cinema, it's, it's, for me, it's another thing than, than what we make. Again, me, maybe I'm the more near this because I'm very cinematographic. But uh, for an example, the, the performance with uh, Michael, Ma, um, uh, Norman McLaren and uh, analyze the lighting, it's, it's not, for me, it was not live cinema, so it was another thing. But well, if you speak just very, very directly about live cinema is only the one that is really, really generated life. So that it's a very, you know, from all yeah, this yeah. cover of yeah. this genre, there's yeah. a very small part that is really actually a, a sort of a, an upgrade of a VJ <laughs> performance yeah, in a yeah. sense. Um, but um, you mentioned quite many times by now this we, we created, we did, so you um, um, collaborate mostly or, or in a lot of your pieces with um, uh, Dominique. Uh, well, uh, Dominique Scott, Scott, it was in yeah. the, the time of the Scott School. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then with <coughs> Damon also and with that many other artists mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. would collaborate. How, mm -hmm. how do you see that this? Is it a necessity because your works are complex or is it a sort of an interest to make a discursive yeah. work upon which you can build mm -hmm. different aspects of what yeah. you're doing. I think it's maybe for two 
to resume to the country home, although for sure it, it's often a meeting with another artist that something happens and we decide, okay, we want to, to work together, it's simple like that. And also the other reason is because uh, it's good also for me to have the com confrontation in a good way to work with somebody and to, to have to react and, 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 and change my own position because if I always just work on my process, I, I use my way to work. And I think for me it's good to, to have a, a diff different approach. And when you work with somebody, it, it, it's, it, it's for sure it's uh, another approach. You, you cannot work like you work uh, in, in solo. So for me, it's always very rich uh, during the, the, the collaboration and after the collaboration because I learned something also. And it's just not learn about the way to work, but it, I learn also uh, 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 I learn also with how we can share in, in, in humanity because, because we are two artists with ego with I, I, I have a strong ego because I, I, I can do everything by myself it's, it's uh, one of my forts. Uh, and it's good also for me to, to, to deal with another person with respect and to let this person go inside my way and my, you know, my, my dynamic to, to create because I, I can create very fast and when you deal with another person you have to let oxygen go inside the process to, 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 to let uh, both of us to find the good dynamic and, and it's very different for each of my collaboration. For an example, now I work with Magali Dapin in Montreal and it, it, we, the, the dynamic is completely different than my other collaboration. And just in terms of uh, sharing something very human, for, for me it's very, very good and important also. So, I just for the last question because we have said quite many things. Mm -hmm. I would like to come back to this idea that you had about you know not differing between whether this is life or that doesn't matter. You know it it could be made life. But um, if you compare this idea of yours to one of the predominant impulses for your work to make an immersive work to completely saturate visually mm -hmm. audiously and augment it physically mm -hmm. the audience you basically are creating this space where we cannot for i think that over 10 years really truly speak about the difference between the real and the virtual mm -hmm. it has all become one space one plane mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you view this interest and how do you tackle? Between the, the real and the. Yeah, virtual? how do you understand? But for me, I don't. The difference. Yeah. Between for me, I don't, I don't saw difference between virtual and real. Strange because for me, the virtual is just the extension of the real. And often, it's the virtual helps me to create something that I can really find, but I'm sure that it, it exists. So, and it helps me also to to make more stronger a point of view that nobody here has the ability to, to see. I'm very interested to, to like in the train, I, I make, I, I have a real shooting, but I, I other part, it's all in 3D because I block a, a the train and I wanted to put the camera inside the dislocation because I wanted that the audience was inside this this turbulence of friction of metal of the material and feel it like the the metal touch you and you are inside but without the without danger. So uh, this 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 
putting the audience inside a position that the, the, the never as a star or feel for me is very interesting and also what what I, I work hard is to make this virtual thing very uh, credible so that y you are inside something is impossible to, 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 uh, to be real but you wanted to be there and, and you don't want to go out and for me that is very important that I build the performance for this slowly slowly to bring you somewhere and after a certain point you don't want to go out of there you, you want it's a part of you of your body of your brain and you want for it's because it's it's act on me like this so you know like uh, I, I want to project what what I, I, I feel to, to, to the audience, but it's to create uh, something that can be very, very virtual, but because all the, the steps be inside the performance, at a certain point, you accept this, this new code, you accept the, the, this, the, this, uh, this strong, strong point of view, and yeah, for me, the, this is very important, so it's very immersive, but uh, at different at different levels at different times, not just because you are in, in, inside the... Uh, and maybe another thing is also to put this, because it's practical again, and uh, when I work with the frontal uh, 2D uh, projection, I, I, I want abso absolutely to make this projection like this, like inside it's a kind of illusion just because the, the sound and the images for sure is very uh, flat but uh, I, I want to make, make this like yeah, this membrane extension has this specific um, um, perspective that I was saying not only in the dust but in other pieces yes, as well yes. this depth but um, would you think that you need uh, a viewer a spectator to be a believer because you are now talking about methods of manipulation mm -hmm. of, of the body and mm -hmm. from um, the critique of the media in the 3D that is very popular in mm -hmm. film industry at the moment there is this uh, critique of completely manipulating mm -hmm. people and doing like subliminal messages to yes, them yes. and I would think that maybe you are trying to avoid this you know manipulation in a in a kind of uh, manipulating the brain not just the feelings in the sense mm -hmm. that you don't put forward real strict narrative mm -hmm. perhaps yeah but you know just painting is like this also when, when a painter makes make a landscape make a it's not what is the difference between the 3D and the landscape painting is just two different approach two different tools but at the same time the painter try to convince you that the, this landscape is well culturally it is very different yeah yeah for sure <laughs> different but but uh, at the um, at the, the basic point of view is of the manipulation same. of the yeah, 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 mm -hmm. it's the same thing. So, yeah, uh, for for me, uh, um, it, like I said, it, it, it's strange because it's just because I have all this in my head, and the only way I have to to make it live, I use all this, you know, to to. to when I starting to, to work on the train, uh, what is the term in English? What, when the train is uh, mm. uh, derailed, um. de derailed. Uh, mm. when I started to think about this, uh, I, I, I feel I, I saw all this part of metal. It's the only way I have to, to create it. It, it was to, to make it with, with my the three D, so it's just an extension of extension of, of my yeah, like, like because 
You know, at the beginning, uh, at 12 years old, uh, I, I am a drummer first, and uh, then the, what, what, uh, uh, always a visual artist and musician at the same time. And since early for me, I don't see the difference between what I made 30 years ago and now. I, for sure, I saw the difference, but I, I try to explain the same thing w with my drawings and then, then today. But today, I, you know, the, the, the computer, everything, it, it gives to us a lot of uh, possibility. Uh, and it serves me to, to, to go in, not further, but to go with another way inside. Maybe it's more strong because now everything is, is the old way with you know, the space, the architecture, the sound, the, 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 the image. It can be very, very immersive. But at a certain point, if I remember well, when I made, made, made a great large painting, I wanted that the, the people saw it and have you know, the same kind of uh, vacuum for my painting. So Still it seems that um, yes. technology is a fascination for yeah, me. Yeah. Especially yesterday, yeah. for example, sitting for quite an aggressive um, audio uh, um, um, receiving, you know, mm -hmm. quite, um, yes. um, so I think that still there is a point of, of fascination of um, the current best um, mm -hmm. media. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and for an example, yesterday it was very, very good because uh, at the same time that the people came inside the the Mishishka, the, the, the Cathedral. Uh, I started the performance before closing the, the door just to, to so it, uh, I feel it that yesterday it was, I don't know why, because it was very slow that the people come inside, so I use it like, okay, I will, at the starting point, place the mood and build up, build up, and uh, so for, for me, this is, is our, also part of the, the immersion and the, the, you know, it was the bridge between the reality and what would be happen in, in this room uh, just before the, the, the door closed. But, yes. Well, this graciality is probably associated with all of your work. Yes, yes, yes. It, it has a very gentle approach and mm -hmm. then slowly mm -hmm. comes mm -hmm. into yes. the view. Yes. So maybe here I would like to thank you for this wonderful talk. It mm -hmm. was very inspiring, really. I, so. I really <laughs> am looking forward for the next immersion into your piece. Mm -hmm. I hope it will be very soon. But before we, we wrap up, I would like to address the public if you would have any questions to ask Well, you know, it's simple because five years ago I started to took a lot of pictures of dust uh, when I travel, so in the airport, in the hotel, and I just find it so beautiful that, that this, you know, dust is because uh, each day we try to remove it, and, and for an example, in Montreal, we are very cl clinical, uh, and all the people want to remove the dust, and the day after the dust, we come back, and blah, blah, blah. And, and I find it so beautiful just to, 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 to start how uh, uh, it can be very pictorial and, and you know, like, like a contemporary uh, uh, um, frame. And when I, I, I come back to the, the, the picture of uh, Manry for Invasion of Poussière de Marcel Duchamp uh, one, year, uh, one year ago. Uh, it was a, a book that I had when I was a teenager and uh, that's a 
I wow or see, and it just struck me to say, hey, yeah, you, you, you have five years of photography, and always I, I telling to me, I have to work with that, with that, but I have other projects. And when I I, I, I saw the, this image again, it, it was just the starting point to say, okay, now it will be the next the next project. So I started to work with that uh, from uh, last year, and just because this picture, and for the, the next two months, I just reflect about what 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 is for me the dust? What what I want to 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 to, um, to explore to to experience with, with the dust? Uh, yeah. Was there a, a religious theme to it? Was that person ashes to ashes, dust to dust? Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, at a certain point, then that's why it's crossing in the performance with you know the dead body. Uh, uh, to be honest, uh. Uh, didn't put this old man until the end of the preparation of the tour. Uh, I have it in head. I already shoot it, and I come to me now. I I think that's it. That's necessary uh, to 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 have this in the in the in that. But again, very spontaneously, uh, the last two weeks I feel better with the human part than without. I, I can explain why, blah, blah, blah. But I decide, decide to put inside. And if now I, I ask again myself, OK, can I remove this? And I think I, I cannot remove this. So just because I need it myself inside this, I don't want to be just abstract. This point of view, it, it, it's great. You know, you, you are in the abstraction in, in the dust, and, and when when this body arrives, it's kind of shut at the same time. And I think I I, I, I need to have this in the, for me and for the performance. Yes. Yeah. to use sound like dust. So, like probably you, you, you know, it's uh, with the granular, now we, we can separate by thousand, one second of sound. So, the dust, the audio was created like this. I decided to separate all the, all the fragmentation of the, the second, each second of sound. I create, I call it just to make a relation with the visual, but I have, it's a wind, so it's a, 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 a audio wind. So I put, it's a kind of aleatoric, uh, you know, generator that can mix all the grain of the sound to create a, a new texture. So li like the dust on the floor with the wind, it's, it's, uh, it's going here, it fall again and, and, and find another position. I made the same thing with the sound. So I have my second of sound, I put the, the audio wind inside, you make it out of control, fall down again in a new order, it, it was the sound for, for the So uh, it was very interesting for me to make the relation in terms of the concept of the sound and, and the, the, the visual, and not just to make or prepare, you know, a soundtrack. Uh, and further than that, I attach 
some grain of the sound to some pixel. So I can control in my emitter of particle. I can control the position of the visual dust with the position position of the audio dust. And this is is very interesting and important in, in the, the the process of the creation of dust. It's not just a visual thing, but is all the organic elements, audio and visual, are very linked, and linked, linked also in the way I, I created. So it, 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 the sound don't arrive before or after the visual. It was at, exactly at the same time. Uh, the same thing with the train. When when I work with the all this dislocation of train, I work with metal, uh, uh, sampling of metal that I, I make friction, audio friction and audio elasticity of the sound of the metal to have exactly the same velocity of the visual. So it, it, it's very unique. And for me it's, it's also uh, because I'm, all, I'm, I'm really a musician and, and uh, audio sculptor. So it's a part of my pleasure to to play like that with the, with the sound and to create my own patch. To like yesterday, I had my my reactor patch that because the audio was live and, and it's very important to have also an interface. Uh, you know that is very uh, near my my sensibility. For an example, I, I can work with uh, Ableton Live. It's a very strong and uh, beautiful software. Uh, probably yesterday, uh, it, uh, it can be possible to make all I made with sound with Ableton Live. It, uh, and in a way more simple, because Ableton Live, you have everything inside, it's already built. But I, I had in my head to don't use that for live because I need to have the interface that is really like, like me. I have to have a dialogue with my interface and I work hard to recreate some because I, I, I want the numb, I want the stretch. You know, like, it, like the way I, I, I imagine that the sound pass through. So for me, my, my uh, you know, my uh, patch it, it is, is more uh, not realistic, it's more, um, it's more in the way that I think than a built-on life.